Alright, so we're going to be removing the thermostat. So in order to do that, you're going to uh, take the 8mm nut off that bracket I just pointed to. You'll use a quarter inch, 3-inch uh, extension with a 8mm shallow socket. You'll get it on that bracket and break that free. And once that's broken free and the nut is removed, you'll be able to pull the cable out of the way. You don't need to disconnect the cable, you just need to undo the bracket. Alright, so for this top part, it's uh, two 10mm nuts to get the thermostat housing off. Uh, the top one's really easy to get to. The bottom one is uh, where you'll need like a 9 inch, quarter inch extension. I use a wobbly with a shallow 10 mil on it. That way you can get it on there snug and break it free. Alright, now then once you get that broken free, you pull the housing out. You just tuck it out of the way, like this. And then the thermostat's going to be pretty snug in there. This one's pretty rusted up, so I had to use a pick to pull it out. Uh, remember to pay attention and see that the O-ring sits on the top of the thermostat. Don't want to put that in backwards. Pop that out. So I let all this coolant drain, and then I cleaned up all the rust and gunk that uh, you can kind of see behind the lip right there. I cleaned all that out. Now you're going to see the, uh, that's the new thermostat, there's no gaps, everything's tight. The old thermostat is very rusted and you can see daylight through it, which means it was not working as it should have been.